decisions, decisions, decisions. Do I have to take the ACT test? Do I have to take the SAT? What do I do? What do I do? You take a pause and you think what's best for you and for the next steps. Again, what's best for you. Here's some recommendations. Let's pretend these are some colleges you are checking out and you need to figure out what their policies are. If you're saying, I love these schools, I love these schools, these are great recommendations based on my needs and I wants. Okay, let's just see what they need. So a lot of times students would just go and assume that, oh, all the super hard schools like MIT require the test, right? Because you know, if we look at MIT and we look at their scattergram, look at that admissions rate, right? But University of Chicago is not that far behind so let's just see what University of Chicago says. Oh, University of Chicago is letting you know you are more than just a GPA or a test score. You are more than a number. And that is why so many colleges are actually not requiring the test, regardless of how selective or not selective they are. It's based on their philosophy, their mission. Here at University of Chicago, they say there's no one piece of information, academic, extracurricular records, essays, letter recommendations, or SDs or ACT scores that alone determine whether or not you'd be a good fit for a college. So they give you that freedom not to submit your test scores. But not all colleges are like this, or that was just because of the pandemic. Really? Really? Let's check out Bowdoin College. Bowdoin College is one of the schools that eliminated standardized testing requirements, and that was more than 50 years ago. Yes, we're talking about since 1969. Oh, Bowdoin College must be a super easy school, right? You know, it's up in Maine. Mm, really? Do you think so? Let's check it out. Oh, another school. That's not so easy. And students can still submit scores if that's something they do want to highlight along many other things, but that's not the other thing. Now, it is true there are some colleges changing their minds. So if there's a school that you're looking at, any school, let's say Boston College, right? Well, then we wanna look at their test requirements. You wanna go in, what's their test requirements? Now here, it says the class of 2029. Wait, that's not my class. So that means you need to go back or email the admissions rep and ask them how they decided. Sometimes websites are updated, sometimes they're not, right? So that's something that you need to check on because one thing you could count on is change, but you don't have to change your mind if you love this test optional opportunity. And yeah, there's more. You don't believe me? All right, it's okay. Well, remember, this is also one of your schools, uh, Boise State, right? It's also a wooey school that a lot of uh, financial discount, but you may have heard that some out-of-state public schools like in Florida and Georgia required test scores. Yes, those legislators did do that, but there is freedom that some schools in certain states, including these public out-of-state schools, even if you're a non-resident, meaning you're not from that state, are saying, hey, guess what? Test scores will not be used and are not required. Yes, Boise State, even a wooey school, is not only test optional, test free. What do you mean it's test free? Well, did you know that there are some campuses on here like San Diego State and also UC schools who have been, yes, since 2020, eliminated standardized test score requirements. That's right. So for the public schools in California, they won't even look at your SAT or ACT test scores as an extra variable 
beyond all these other factors that they use. Yep, that's what test-free means. They're not going to look at it. But there will be some schools on your list, not only MIT, but let's look at Tennessee. We go over to Tennessee. Oh, students are required to self-report SAT and ACT. That's not the pre-ACT. That's not the PSAT. They do require you to do that. So really look at the test score policy at each campus. Don't make a blanket statement. Always trust what's in black and white. But at the same time, you have the power to decide on your list, like, okay, with all the colleges I'm looking at, is it worth the benefit of my time to send my test scores to these schools? Um, should I just only have tests optional or is it okay to submit the test scores? Well, let's look at Bryant University because I love what they say about test scores. It's a test optional school. So here they say, if you feel your SAT or ACT scores are an accurate reflection of your abilities or you have been impacted by disruption of test administration, how hard is it to find a test site? Then you can choose not to submit them. Yeah, right? Remember, majority of college have a comprehensive and holistic application process, right? And that's why for so many schools, test scores are optional. Yeah, right? So for a lot of campuses that are, are test optional, it allows us to consider your strengths that may be demonstrated in areas other than ACT or SAT. Maybe you want to do more in community service. Maybe you want to focus more on family responsibility. Maybe there's other programs, classes, or just you taking care of yourself. So just keep in mind, yes, there are over 2,000 colleges that are test optional. And there are a few that you saw today that are also test free. So please make sure to check all the requirements and yes there are going to be schools like georgetown university and mit that currently ask for the test if you're going to regret not applying to those two wonderful institutions then take the test just make sure that you sign up early especially during your junior year make sure you have the time to register and also plan accordingly for all your other responsibilities in the classroom outside of the classroom it's so important but it's not just about just signing up for the test look at all the variables and do you have what will be attractive to these campuses you want to look at all the variables that they're going to consider for admissions before you decide to take the test for this one or two specific campuses that require the test. Do know you do have the freedom to go and say, okay, I'm just not interested anymore. I'm going, you know, test optional, or you could choose, okay, I'm going to take the test because I really want to be part of this community for the school that requires a test. The choice is yours. Remember, the choice is yours. You have the power to decide. This is just one variable. And if it's a highlight for you, then go ahead and highlight yourself. But that can't be the only highlight. There's so many different variables that all these schools to be test optional or test free because they're looking at so many other variables and they rather you to highlight those stories th that information but there's some schools that will say no we won't be test optional so check the requirement remember you have the power and your time is valuable so make sure the time that you dedicate whether you're a teenager a young adult or adult you're happy with the decision you made because this is your choice and we're here to support you to make that decision and answer all your questions. Go Wildcats! Mm -hmm.